Thanks for letting me know. Uh, yes, yes. Now, now uh, the recording has started. So welcome back. Today's uh, lecture is on uh, domain name system. So in domain name system is a mechanism where uh, the internet software translates the domain names into the IP addresses. IP addresses are very essential in order to, you know, talk to your servers. Okay. So if you look at uh, uh, here in this uh, diagram, if you look at this diagram, in this diagram, so what happens, a user is typing uh, amazon.com. He is just uh, typing amazon.com. Amazon.com goes to the server. So in the server, that is DNS server, what happens, there is a table maintained. So in each uh, entry of the table, it will have DNS it will have DNS and it will have the its respective IP address. So you can ask me, sir, why we need DNS? Directly we can give IP address only. Why we need IP, you know, DNS? So to be very frank, uh, if I ask you, uh, you know, uh, who is your best friend? You can tell best friend name very immediately. Instead of uh, telling best friend name, you, you don't say, uh, you know, uh, your best friend phone number. So number is a secondary field. Name is the primary field. So that is the reason normally all the servers are uh, identified. All the servers are, uh, you know, being uh, easily remembered by the server names. So we can easily remember name than IP address. So normally we give, uh, a, you know, server names. Okay, right. So this server name cannot be used for a request and response. So what you have to do, it has to be translated to the IP address. So if you give the domain name to the server, server maintains an IP address. For this uh, amazon.com, so for this Amazon, amazon.com, there is an IP address, maybe 10.1.0.1. Uh, 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 so maybe this is the IP address. So this IP address is returning. You can see as a step two, it is returning, it is returning. And uh, using that IP address, what happens? Uh, your uh, computer will send a request to the uh, Amazon server and Amazon server will respond back, will respond back. This is how exactly your, uh, you know, uh, DNS will play a very important role, right? So IP addresses are uh, very much important in order to identify and also send uh, and receive the request and response. Moving further, okay. So, what are the components of uh, DNS? The first component, if you look at the first component, is namespace. Second component, third component is name servers, domain name servers. These are the three components. Let us see one by one. In the examination, if you if you asked about uh, uh, a short note, to write a short note on uh, the my name servers, of course, you have to write the purpose, why it is used with the previous diagram. And you can also explain these three components. These three components you have to just explain. Okay, moving uh, further. So we have, uh, you know, uh, first one, namespace. What does namespace do? Namespace, specifies the structure, specifies the structure of uh, uh, the entire uh, uh, web, uh, you know, pages, web servers with their associated names. Look at here, it's very, very important. So you have uh, com, you have uh, int, you have edu, you have gov, you have uh, mi, you have uh, org, you have net, you have uh, JP, you have, uh, you know, US, you have NL. So, uh, 
these parts jp japan uh, us for us nl netherlands similarly you can also have in india so rnsit.ac.in in 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 is our indian uh, name so it is branched it is stored it's a as a structure the name space is a structure of dns entire DNA. and of course uh, each name uh, node uh, is labeled uh, with a root and of course it's a tree that is being maintained so this tree entire tree you call it as namespace where all the names of the servers are maintained as an tree it's a big tree we call it as a so why it is used it is used to identify whether it is really available or not it is available or not so if somebody types uh, some uh, dns name some uh, uh, address on the address bar immediately what it will do it will not search the entire website entire whole www it will not search it will search in the namespace if it is present in the namespace then uh, the translation of uh, your domain name to uh, your domain name to your uh, uh, what do you call uh, the ip address will happen if it is not at all available it is a some other invalid name you give something uh, like uh, ramasthish.com will it open no it will never open it will say this particular domain name is uh, not available okay so you have to type the exact domain name in order to get it. okay so this whether the domain name whatever the web browser is uh, uh, taking in from the user is valid or not it will be checked using this namespace it will be checked using this namespace right next dns resolver the main job of dns resolver uh, is to you know resolve the information that are there in the name servers for example uh, in fact uh, i can say dns resolver uh, is a server that uses a protocol we call it as dns protocol dns is actually a protocol okay to query the information from dns servers dns resolvers communicate with uh, the remote dns servers there are so many dns servers and uh, uh, certainly dns server uh, programs that are running in local computers okay so you observe so only indian uh, websites are available in indian dns server you type uh, you know uh google dot us dot uh, google dot uh, co dot us you just type what happens so google page that are there in us it has to open so in indian server that page will not be there so what it will do it will resolve this problem by sending a request to the us dns server and the resolver will get the page uh that is it will get the ip address and that ip address it will be provided to the client and client will uh, straight away use that uh, ip address to connect uh, to the you know us server so that is what uh, we have so dns resolver communicates with either uh, a remote dns server or the local dns server or uh, some uh, dns uh, running program the local computer in order to find the exact ip address you know to find the exact ip address of uh, the dns if it is not available in one uh, dns server it will uh, again search based on that uh, structure based on the dns uh, namespace it will go to search so this entire operation is done in the nine steps the query user is gen generating that is originator is generating and dns server is checking in the local it is not available checking in another uh, local machine it is not available later it will go to the uh, uh, related uh, server uh, okay related uh, you know domain and later in the domain server it will find and finally that address is 
sent back. So that is resolver. If it is not found until uh, it is available, until it is, it is solved, the resolver is continuously working on it. So that is sometimes uh, you type the uh, you know domain names, it will take long time. So due to network issue, due to you know DNS resolution, so it is not available. It's not available, right? So that's about uh, DNS uh, name servers and uh, name resolver. Next comes to the DNS and name servers. The name servers stores the information, names, names and IP addresses. It is called a zone IP addresses. It is also called a zone IP addresses. So once again, once again, please be on the line. I have, I have to take a call. I'll just disconnect the call if it is not. Uh, Okay, I have cancelled the call. Right. Thank you. Uh, right. So even though I have an app uh, that can I can talk to the phone when I'm on the class. Sorry. Okay. I was talking about uh, the DNS name server. The name server exactly stores the information about the namespace uh, units in with respect to zones. So if it is a Netherlands zone, so if it is a Netherlands zone, uh, it will store in uh, ML. You can see this it has been marked. So you have a DNS server uh, for uh, uh, you know Netherlands. So it will again hold uh, uh, DNS, will hold DNS and uh, its respective IP. Will hold its respective IP. So uh, that is based on the zone. In India, we have a DNS server in uh, Mumbai and in uh, Kolkata. So, uh, eastern part of the traffic is being handled by Kolkata servers, and western part is handled by your, uh, you know, Mumbai servers. Okay. So, the name uh, servers uh, that loads the complete zone are said to have uh, authority for are to be authorized uh, for uh, zones. Usually more than one name servers are, uh, you know, authoritative for, uh, uh, you know, same zone. And of course, uh, this ensures the residency of the entries. Sometimes what happens is uh, they maintain the entries, uh, you know, across uh, two, three zones. So uh, in order to avoid this, certainly they will use uh, this residency and spread the load across uh, of course, a single name server uh, may be authoritative for uh, many zones. That is what uh, you should uh, understand. And uh, moving further, and uh, moving further, we can cert certainly understand. Okay, moving further, uh, we can certainly understand these uh, domain names are uh, part of our day to day life. The next class. We'll certainly do the revision of the entire thing. So revision, uh, revision of the entire thing. So we will do a revision. We'll do a revision of uh, the entire uh, thing. That's all for uh, you know this particular uh, module five. So module one we have you know worked. Module two we have worked. Module three we have worked. Module four uh, we have worked. Five and uh, six also. Five we have worked. The sixth module is what our revision is all about. So since we have a lot of time, almost uh, a month time to revise and prepare well, and probably your exams may happen in the month of July. So be prepared, and uh, I have uh, uh, clearly you know said uh, you know. Uh, you should uh, be ready with your lab component also. So anytime, uh, you know, uh, you should be ready to execute these programs. So probably this Saturday, I'll allocate some students, uh, okay, so who can really execute uh, the programs. Okay, I think uh, Deepa, 
Deepa, are you able to hear you? Deepa, are you there? Can you hear me? Deepa? Deepa? Boya Pawan? Pawan? Boya Pawan? Can you hear me? I think what are these people are doing? They are simply logged in for the sake of attendance. See, that does not work out. You should be interactive. Dinakar, are you there? See? Yes, sir. Yeah, Dinakar. Dinakar, speak yes, loud. Yes, sir. Dinakar, can you take up a, a lab program number? Uh, uh, sir. Second lab program of party A. Sir, Agitra, sir. Third program of party A. Madhidran, you already. Yes, sir. Okay, sorry. I think uh, you are done already. Sorry. Uh, Deepak, are you there, Deepak? Thank you, Dinakar. I think uh, it is already recorded in one of the Excel sheet. I just open my Excel sheet. Uh, okay. So, it is already done. If it is already done, uh, I think you need not have to do it. So, Deepak, Harshita, are you there, Harshita? Harshita? See these fellows. Harshita, can you? Yes, sir. Yeah, Harshita, uh, can you demonstrate uh, lab program number Harshita, right? Harshita. Yes, sir. Harshita, are you working on all the labs? Sir, I don't have laptop here. Mm, can you make some arrangement? See, how are you practicing all your programs? The lockdown has lifted. Somehow you have to make arrangement. Okay. Sir. Uh, if it is complete lockdown, I can understand. Now things have lifted. Somehow you have to make arrangement. Uh, okay, you have to work. So I'll give you a small program to demonstrate. I think a lab uh, program B2. Oh. The second program, we call it as a TCPA, TCPIP program, a TCP and okay, sir. Yeah. First program that you have, yes. worked, huh? you have to demonstrate, yes, sir. you have to demonstrate uh, uh, probably this. Okay. Yes, sir. Huh? Try to make some arrangement, Ashita. Okay, sir. Right. And uh, who is okay, sir. The participation list? Praveen? You have done right, Praveen? Praveen? No, sir. Can, you, can I give you a program? Yes, sir. Huh? Yeah. Yes, sir. Praveen. Praveen can do uh, lab program number B. Again, B1, the first program. Praveen, right? Praveen, please take care of uh, lab program number one. And uh, uh, what about uh, Raghavendra? Raghavendra, are you there listening? Raghu, Raghavendra. Raghavendra, Pooja, RX 19 MCA 01, Pooja. Pallavi, Pallavi, are you there? Meghana, Meghana, are you there? Can I give you a lab program to demonstrate? Yeah, who is this? Meghana. Meghana, Meghana can I give you a program where you can, uh, you know, uh, demonstrate? Yes, sir. Meghana. I think can I can I give uh, lab six, lab program number six, last program. Last Part B last program. Okay. Can you do it? Okay, sir. And uh, not uh, uh, the last one. Okay, Manjunath Gowda. Manjunath, are you listening? 
Manjanath, your voice is very low, Manjanath. Yes, sir. Internet Manjanath. problem, sir. Manjanath? Yes, sir. I am audible. Okay. Manjanath, uh, Manjanath, can you can I give you lab uh, B four? So my laptop mic and speaker is not working, so I need okay. to get in mobile itself, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Or else we will give to Shashank. Shashank, are you there? Shashank. Hey, Shashank. Hello, Napa. Na Sujit ko na. Sujit does well. Sujit. Sujit, are you able to listen to me? Yes, sir. Sujit, nin ko la B four lab B four. Sir, we have Ubuntu problem, but it is sir. I still try my thing, sir. B four, alla sir. Ah. Okay, sir. Mudu ko ringe work mana don re. Ah, yena thoro problem asin mada ka don sari mada kon work mana re. Try my thing, Sujit. Okay. Okay, sir. Ah, sir, I'll just put the same message. Then I'll copy mada kon thini. Aye, thoro sir. Copy mada kon don am chat box silly. Thoro lo ha kudre. वर्क आगत हूँ Uh, if really somebody is having a internet issue or a, you know laptop problem, uh, you can do one thing. You can come to college. We are available every day. College is perfect. Dili, just we will install and uh, we'll get back to you. We'll solve your uh, problem. Most of the problems uh, we can solve. In case, so it was a good time today. Okay, many students were there. So I could be able to complete the syllabus. Now I am going to revision Martini. No, no. Uh, we'll not leave the class. Okay. At least for uh, ten, fifteen minutes every day, we'll meet so that uh, uh, you can ask doubts if you are reading. You can ask doubts. So now meet at Madlila Google early. Andre, you know what I mean. You will also forget the subject. I will also forget the students. Okay. So every day, even though we finish our, uh, you know, lecture till uh, uh, the examination, until the examination, you will come to college. Okay, college will be there. 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 Okay, college Good students, so you have uh, brought uh, good Lawrence to me and uh, to you. Uh, yeah, Sujit. Sujit, you want to say something? Uh, okay. If you have anything uh, to share with me, I am always open in WhatsApp, and uh, many times you can call me also. I will be available. Uh, I don't have any issues. So you can just just right away make a call, and uh, we'll discuss. So signing off today. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.